everybody, it's Melissa with bookmarketing.net. Today we're going to look at how to format your book in Microsoft Word, looking at paragraph styles and text styles. Uh, if you are interested more on formatting your book in Microsoft Word, you can check out the MD Author Guide by April L. Hamilton. She does a great job of going through text styles and things like that, but also margins and gutters and all sorts of things to make sure that your book is formatted perfectly in Word. Um, Adobe Pages will have similar settings to this, but we're going to be looking specifically at Word. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by opening a new Word document. And before I do anything, I'm going to save it as a template. That will allow me to use it to format my whole book um, so that everything is consistent from beginning to end. So I'm going to go ahead and call it my book. Why not? And save it on my desktop because that's where I like to find things. So we're going to begin by creating some some styles for the paragraph for the fonts and the paragraphs but also in the heading so I'm gonna to go to format and style I'm gonna begin with a with a heading style we're gonna do two heading styles today so I'm gonna click new and I'm gonna create a name for the heading and it just can be anything that makes sense to you and anything that's not already being being used so I'm gonna call it head a that just helps me see where it's going to be and then it's a paragraph style which means it's going to apply to every every word every character in that whole paragraph even if it's just a short line um, the other choices are character styles which just apply to specific letters and then table and list styles so we're going to leave it with paragraph when you base this you choose a style that it's based on you want to pick a style that's as close as possible to what you want it to be that that way you'll make as few changes as possible and keep it simple so I'm gonna go ahead and base this on um, heading one one of the main changes I'm gonna make on these is the uh, the font style that way it'll have a slightly distinctive look um, I'm gonna use American typewriter going to make my headings a little bit smaller than that. Um, just I, f I find a lot of times in, in printed books the headings are not that large. And I'm going to build in a little bit of extra space here with this button around the text so that it stands out from the text around it. I'm also going to click down here you've got formatting options for font, paragraph, tabs, border, all sorts of things. Uh, what I'm going to go to is font and I'm going to change it to all black because my book's going to be a single single color text and I'm going to change it to all caps because I like my main heading to be in all caps. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click this box to add it to the template and then I'm going to click OK again. Now we've got one head sty heading style. I'm going to do a second heading style which will be like our second level of heading and I'll click New and I'm going to call this one Head B and it's a, again it's a paragraph style I'm gonna base it on heading number two and I'm gonna make it American typewriter again um, I'm gonna leave this I'm gonna actually bump this one up to 14 so it matches the same font size as, as my previous heading I like to keep them consistent personally I'm not gonna add any extra space around this one because I prefer my second level headings to be a little bit tighter with the text I'm gonna format again uh, to font to create black type I'm gonna leave it in the, t the title case here not in all caps again to set it apart from the top level heading I'm gonna click OK add it to my template and click OK. So now we've got two two heading styles. We're going to do two quick uh, body copy styles. So we'll click new again and I'm going to do a body style that's not indented and this will be a style that I use right below my headings. It's going to be a paragraph style again. I'm going to base this one on on let's see on just basic body text you can see here in this in the sample that it's not indented and that's what I want I'm gonna tighten it up so that it's not there's no space no extra space between it and the paragraph before or after it 
I'm going to make this one American typewriter as well, just to keep it consistent throughout my book. You can vary the, the font between the, the headings and the, the body text, but I, like, I, I typically keep it simple just to make sure that it looks clean. Um, I'm going to bump the, the type size down a little bit here. Since it's going to be a printed book, I want it to look a little bit more um, in line with what printed books typically look like instead of looking like I printed out a Word document. I don't need the font to be that large. So I'm going to put 10. Um, I don't think I have any need for any of these other settings, but uh, you may. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the template. Uh, click OK. And then one more, one more paragraph style. And this one I'm going to call body indent. Again, a paragraph style. I'm going to base this one on body text first indent because you can see got a little bit of an indent there which is what I'm looking for. I'm going to change it to American typewriter. Let's change the font size to 10 again. And this one doesn't have any built-in space around it so I don't need to remove that with this button. Uh, I think we are about ready to go on this one. I'll add it to my template and I'll say OK. Now we've got those four font styles that are type four paragraph styles, pardon me, that we, we created. We've got our heading A, our heading B, and our body indent and body non-indent. You're going to end up with throughout a book with a lot more styles than this. You're going to do styles for each part of your table of contents, for your index, and all that. But this is just a quick, quick look at how to set those up. I'm going to click Apply. And then, so I've got those text styles available in this menu up here in my in my template document. What I'm going to do now is get some, grab some of the text from my book or the the sample text from my book. I've got that in another document, and you can either in your template document you can compose your book from scratch using those those styles, or m more likely you're going to have it in another document, and you're going to copy it all, and then go back to your template document. And I would suggest doing it. Uh, an edit paste special instead of just a quick paste. Uh, this will help you. You can select unformatted text. That'll strip out any text styles from your previous document so that it will apply the new text styles you just created a, a lot more cleanly and prevent um, a lot of a lot of fixing that you'd have to do later. So I'd go ahead and click OK and it'll appear and you'll notice that it already applied uh, one of our, our our indented text style here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just go through and, and fix any other styles that need to be applied. So this is our first heading style. I'm going to select this drop down menu and we had called that one heading A. So I'll click there. You can see how it builds in that space. It, it turns it to all caps. And then our paragraph right after that will be our non-indented style. So I'm going to go to body non-indent and just click there. And that just removes that indent right up there and keeps it flush with the paragraphs below it. And then I'm going to jump down to our smaller heading, our, our kind of B-level heading. I'm going to click heading B. And you'll see this one falls in line a little bit tighter with the paragraph underneath it, but it still has space around. Um, and then I'm going to do one last change and make this our body non-indent. So you can see, let me zoom this out so you can see the whole thing. Um, whole page. So you can see just the way that falls on the page with just those easy settings. And again, April Hamilton in Indie Author Guide will show you um, even more uh, paragraph styles you can do, but also how to do the margins properly and the page size and all that to get your book looking, looking professional in Word.